The following program is furnished by Central Valley Sports Report. I'm Camille Moultrie, and this is Jason Phillips. And we've got plenty of special guests on the show for you today, water polo, football, and basketball. And not to mention a big announcement. So don't go anywhere. The CVSR show starts now. lot of exciting guests on the show for you today and speaking of exciting guests I'm here with Cassidy Crouch who is a junior at Clovis High who is on the water polo team thanks for joining us today thank you no thank you for having me oh, of course okay so tell us a little bit about your season how is it going for you well so far it's going great um we just came off of a win of a tournament Central Valley Showdown that was a big win for us I think it ranked as number one in the valley so far wow um, I think we placed third in a St. Francis tournament just a couple, two weeks ago. And then we have an upcoming tournament, it's called NorCal's, and that, that places us in, in um, a higher bracket for different seedings and such. So yeah, it, it's going good so far. Great, that sounds good. So you are a junior, and you are also a team captain as a junior. Yeah. That's awesome. Tell us about that. How is that? Um, it's, it's great just um, leading my team by example, by words. I'm also partnered up with our, our co-captain, McKenna Haas. Okay. Yeah. And so we just we just keep them intact. We listen to our coaches. We represent the, the team. Great. And you're a goalie. Yes. What's it like being a goalie? What do you need to do to be good at that? I know it's hard for most people to stay afloat in the water, you know, yeah, more than yeah. a minute. So what's that like for you? Um, well, I've been doing it since seventh grade. So it's like natural to me. It's like, um, like second nature. And I just... I, I could do it forever if I really wanted to. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's fun, though. I like it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so what do you like to do outside of water polo? I mean, what, what's your, what kind of hobbies do you have? Um, I love hanging out with friends and family. I have about three best friends. I, I like them a lot. I hang out with them a lot. Um, I read. I, I really like to read, and I play chess. Sounds a little nerdy, but I play chess. You play chess? Yes. That's awesome. Are you involved in any like tournaments or leagues or how do you? Um, I used to be when I was little. I even had like a private tutor, but um, oh my gosh. being with sports in school, it's a, I'm too busy now to do that, but right. it, I used to. Okay. Awesome. And so what are your plans for next year? Do you, I mean, you'll be a senior, but yes. after your senior year, do you have any colleges that you'd like to go to or what are you um, looking at? Well, Stanford's been a dream school of mine, oh, but awesome. that's that's pretty hard to get into. So I, I've been looking at CBU, maybe Point Loma, schools like that. To play water polo still? Yes, hopefully water polo. Okay, great. And I know you're very involved um, in the community, right? Okay, yeah. so what do you do as far as that? Um, I volunteer at my church. I help with little kids. I volunteer at Mrs. Winkle's Pet Adoption Place, and I volunteer at Cedar Brooks Memory Care. Um, for dementia and Alzheimer's, I volunteer there. I tutor awesome. too oh, what for do you elementary tutor? kids, um, math and English. Oh, great, that's awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us and good luck this season. Thank you for having me. All right, will you do me one favor and take us out to a commercial? Don't go anywhere. We have a lot more show coming for you. Be right back. We're both tired from working all day, but we have to deal with this. Another bad report card? Doesn't he understand? We want him to do well in school, so he can have opportunities we never had. He needs help. We help him with his homework when we can. What more can we do? We need to call Tutoring Club. Tutoring Club. Guaranteed to improve academic performance. Call now for free testing and registration. A $125 value, free. Replay Locker is the next evolution of football coaching. Our wireless system puts game footage in the hands of your coaches instantly. Correct technique and adjust schemes between plays. Don't tell your players what to fix. Show them. Film from anywhere. Get total video control and automatically index your plays. With our high-powered system, there's no limit to how many coaches can connect. Get instant replay on the sidelines with Replay Locker.
I'm Derek Carr. You know, you're trying to get to college, make sure you check out Central Valley Sports Report. What's up, Central Valley? Jason Phillips here, and I'm joined by a special guest, Mike Nolte, head football coach of the Liberty Madera Hawks. Coach, I've been wanting to get you in here for a while. Big fan of your program. If you don't know a lot about Liberty Madera, this is your sixth year coach. About three, three so years ago, 2011, we started to see it, but 2012, you guys have been 30 and two since then. After 500 first three years, 2018. But since 2012, you got you had a senior class that consisted of guys like Wade Wallace, Richie Brandt, C.J. Cambra. They have been the difference and then the reason for your guys' success. Yeah, I think so. I think those are good kids that have put in a lot of hard work, and uh, you know the kids that are that are around them have also, you know, sort of taken the lead, taken their lead, and and uh, put in that work as well. So yeah, I, I would say so. Now, you're nestled out, way out there in the ranchos, you know, small little, you know, Madera town. But you know, recently, uh, in the past, you've had one kid successfully go to college at Sacramento State. Uh, you, we were talking off camera, Wade Wallace, C.J. Cambra. I mean, these guys are actually getting looked at by colleges. A uh, couple other guys, maybe? Yeah, I, I hope so. I think uh, we have good kids. They get good grades, you know. Uh, they deserve a shot at, at playing at the next level, and, and I think the desire is there to do it for them too as well. Mm -hmm. so. Now C.J. Camber is a senior. He anchors an offensive line that this team has averaged 300 rushing yards, 7.2 yards a carry. You guys run the football out there in Liberty. Wade Wallace, a running back, along with Richie Brandt. Can I talk about the job they do and what you guys do offensively? I mean, you guys are outscoring opponents 241 to 34 in your five games this year. That is Insane. Yeah, we're off to a, we're off to a good start, and uh, you know the kids are, are really starting to play play good football. Um, you know the offensive line is as I think played one of their best games this past week against Corcoran, mm -hmm. um, and you know Wade and and Richie and the other running backs are really reaping the benefits. I mean those guys are guys that run the football real hard, and and they're physical runners. They have a good mix of power and speed when they run the football and. And they're fun to watch. It, it's really, you know, I, I sometimes sit back and I just enjoy them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to. Zach Richie's your quarterback. I mean, how, how does he control this offense? Uh, Zach does a great job. His his mentality for the position has has been really good. He's an even killed kid. He doesn't get too high. Doesn't get too low. Um, knows the responsibility of playing that position in in our system, and has really embraced it. Um, so he's he's uh, he's he's the he's the sort of the Glue to the whole thing, I think. Nice. We were talking just a few minutes ago how one or two senior classes can kind of change your program, put you into a different division, you know, just based off a couple good years, and then the following senior class and the kids, you know, coming in, they have to pay for it. Kind of talk about that system. You guys have moved from D5 to D4. We could even see you guys in D3 next year. <laughs> I don't know about that. What do you, how do you feel about that? Um, you know, I, I think we're up for the challenge this year, and, and um, I think the kids – after you know the junior class and the sophomore freshman the classes behind these guys are really going to have to rise up to the challenge that has been presented to us mm -hmm. because of because of our success um you know I, i'm not a huge fan of the whole the whole system because i think enrollment should play a huge part in in uh, how they place teams in divisions but uh you know the system as it currently is is competitive equity and and uh, that's where we are so now you're an enrollment of 560 some odd kids with a 40 man roster. I mean, there's schools with higher enrollment that can't even field a 30 man roster. Yeah, you know the kids really buy into what we're doing, and you know success breeds success, and the kids want to be a part of it, mm -hmm. and, and it's and it's good to see. I mean, I mean, I'm happy that the kids are excited about playing football at Liberty. Now you do a much better program job with this program outside of the field. I mean, your team GPA, as you were telling me, over 3.4. Yeah, I mean we've been we've been up that high in the past. Um, I'm not sure exactly where our GPA falls this year, but I, I would I'd be willing to, to bet that we'll be above 3.0. Yeah. Whew. Now you finished your non-league slate. You've gone five and zero. You're getting ready for league. Just kind of give us a brief little, you know, kind of what you think your team can do and achieve three straight uh, Valley titles possibly. Uh, that's that's the goal. I, you know, there's is a tough road. Um, there's some good teams out there that we've got to get through and. Now, our league is no exception. Um, you know, the history, the teams in our league have great history. You know, Yosemite is obviously, and I'll just go in the order that we play them in, but uh, Yosemite has great history. I know they've, they've uh, 
fallen off a little bit in, in recent past, but at the same time, the 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 tradition is there. Sierra, same thing. Right. Um, you know, then we play Washington Union, who we have not beat yet. So that's that's sort of been those guys have been thorn in our sides for a few years now. Well, six years now we have. They won league so. last year. Your kids looking forward to that game? Yeah, I think they do. I think they have that one circled. Um, we do our best to keep it one week at a time, but I think uh, everybody. Everybody has that one circled, and then, then of course, Kerman and Chowchilla to finish the league season. Those guys, you know, I mean, we just we're, we just hope that we can get the kind of tradition that those schools have developed and and uh, keep playing good football. I think you guys could do it. I'm betting on the Liberty Hawks this year. Three Pete, Mike Nolte, head football coach. If you haven't watched a game, go out there and see these guys. They are fun to watch. Coach, thank you for being with us. Thank you. I appreciate we'll be right that. back with much more. Stay with us. What's up, everybody? My name is Felix Gonzalez, one of the head trainers and owners of Gene2 Fitness. Well, we believe you should come to Gene2 Fitness only with the simple fact that when you get here and you're done, you're satisfied. Gene2 Fitness is not your ordinary gym. We have rope climbs, we have sandbags, we pull cars, we flip tires, we hit sledgehammers. We do definitely the most unconventional things you could think of to get people in shape. You'll never be left alone. We'll never quit on you. We won't let you quit, more importantly. So decide, commit, and we'll help you succeed. You know you're in for a great evening at the Standard Fresno's Premier Restaurant and Lounge. Start things off with a choice from the standard selection of wines and cocktails in the lounge or relaxing on the enclosed patio or in one of our intimate cabanas. Dine from the Standard's acclaimed menu of California cuisine, where our chef always has something special. Enjoy your meal inside or on the covered patio. It's always a great evening at the Standard Restaurant and Lounge in the Riverview Center at Fryant and Fort Washington. We'll see you tonight. joined now by another special guest. This young man is Colin Dallaire from the Clovis West basketball team. Colin has a special announcement he's going to make with us here in just a few minutes, but before we get to that, let's get started. Colin, how you doing, man? How was your weekend? It was good. Um, just kind of hung out. Didn't really do anything. Well, right on the life of a high school kid, huh? Must yep. be nice. So, Colin, you're a 6'7", big kid, man. You've been playing ball for you know a lot of your life, but your situation is kind of similar to a lot of kids from this area that have a problem of playing out of their position. You're 6'7", playing in the post because your bigs go down, but you have the play of a guard. Kind of talk about the transition and, and, and how you've dealt with it. Well, I mean, I've kind of played guard all my life, and, uh, and then all of a sudden when I get into high school, I have to play post. And so it actually kind of helped me a little bit playing post these last three years because I was, used, uh, was able to uh, develop a post game, and so when I have smaller guys on me on the outside, you know, I can take them down low or, mm -hmm. and then uh, actually have a post game now. Because before, I never had a post game. Mm -hmm. So, actually, it's good and bad. So Right. Now, yeah, I mean, a big guy that can shoot the ball and you've got handles, so you're going to be well adapted at the next level where you're going to be playing your actual position, the three, the small forward. Uh, you know, you excited about that? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I haven't really been able to do that a whole lot, so... Now you got your growth spurt uh, right around eighth grade, is that right? I mean, you yeah, went from five fresh, ten yeah, to... freshman year, eighth grade, and then jumped up all the way to six six freshman year. Yeah, yep. Ooh man, coach must have been happy. Yeah, I think he was probably. <laughs> now, you have uh, you got a, a special announcement coming up. Now let's let's go to the recruiting trail. So you know you go from Colin Delaire, you know, just a normal Valley kid, to all of a sudden you're an ESPN top fifty small forward prospect. Now this just didn't happen overnight. It took a while of hard work. What areas of your game did you have to improve to, 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 to get this? Uh, well, the most, uh, the areas I had to improve on most were probably my ball handling and uh, my shooting. And just, I have to work on everything. I mean, if you want to be good, you have to be good at everything. So I just kind of had to make my disadvantage or my, make my negatives and the positives and make my positives even better, so. 
Now you did a lot of this on your own time, kind of individual work, yes. right? Yep. Who, who, who helped you? Um, specific? I had uh, Coach Slater help me, um, and then uh, that was my dad helped me, and then yeah, that's about it. Uh, and what? Uh, give us a couple schools that were recruiting you. I mean, did you have interest that had interest in you? Uh, yeah, uh, Air Force, uh, Montana, Colgate, Metro State, uh, Cal Baptist, and uh, yeah. All right, so what, uh, going into that, looking at the schools, you know, that you had lined up, what, what, were you, what was your interest? Where did you want to want to go? Um, like, pretty much as, like, going through the recruiting process, I always have my mind on, like, D1 and everything. So, um, I don't know. I, I didn't really have, like, a specific place I wanted to go, really. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it's just, I didn't. I don't really have a specific place. Um, well, you have a specific place now. You've got a full ride to a specific college. This is Colin Delaire's special announcement. Colin, where are you playing ball next year, man? Uh, Cal Baptist University. Cal Baptist University, a private Christian school, full ride. I heard they have a beautiful campus. Yep. What sold you on Cal Baptist? Um, the coaches were amazing. They were all like really nice to me, just treated me really good. Uh, their campus was really nice. Um, their offense fit me really well. I felt like I would go in there and be able to fit in perfectly. And um, the players is what stood out to me most, honestly. Um, the players, the time I spent with them, they were all just like, they um, accepted me. Nice. And uh, they were really nice. And I just had a really good experience there. And I just felt it. Now you're going in as a freshman next year, but coach has told you he's actually going to let you, give you a chance to compete for a starting role right off the bat? Yes, yes. All right, man. How about that? Yeah, Cal Baptist fun. University getting a stud. Colin Delaire from the Valley. Man, I thank you for being on the show. I'm glad you're here because we need more stories like yourself here on this show. If you're an athlete in the Central Valley, you're getting looked at, please come on board here with CVSR. Colin, thanks a lot so much for joining us, thank man. You. Good luck the rest of this year at Clovis West and uh, Cal you. Baptist next year, man. Thank you. And coming up, guys, student section of the week. You do not want to miss this. Looking for the loudest, livest, craziest student section in the Central Valley to feature on our show. Hit us on Facebook and Twitter, email us, tell us why we should come to your school and feature you as our student section of the week. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say... No thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Welcome back to the CVSR Show. I'm joined here by Larry Abney and Shamika Conway. Now they are the founders of the Abney Conway Athletic Scholarship. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. All right, so tell us a little bit about this scholarship and how can people get involved and how did it get started? Well, kind of, it got started over breakfast. We were just having breakfast and I was kind of, my mind was wondering because I work at Central East High School and last year we signed 18 athletic scholarships. So it kind of just had me thinking about my kids who didn't receive a scholarship and, Mm -hmm. you know, just how we can help them or what could be done for them. So we were sitting at breakfast and I was just like, you know, I have this idea, you know, what do you think about it? And it was born. Yeah. Yeah. It's continued to grow since that point. Um, There's so many kids who have a misconception 
that they have to get a full scholarship or nothing. Right. Um, there's so many different opportunities to, to still attend school uh, with help, and we just want to be a part of that. Um, it's an athletic scholarship, and again, so many kids think that it's a full scholarship or you, mm -hmm. you get nothing. But you know, in the Division Two NAI kids, which a lot, which a lot of athletes are attending, uh, you get partial scholarships, and any amount of money added to that uh, is definitely a huge help. So that's right. what we're attempting to do. Awesome. Now I both I know both of you are very involved in sports. You were former Fresno State basketball player, mm -hmm. right? Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Um, I played at Fresno State from '95 to 2000. Uh, oh, okay. A long time ago now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, after that, I, I got the opportunity to play 12 years professional basketball. Um, and since that point, just the, the entire time, uh, I've always been an advocate of kids having the opportunity to play uh, you know, uh, sports in college and attend right. college. Um, uh, the, the road I took myself was one you know, from humble beginnings and I didn't, have, I didn't know about the opportunity or what mm -hmm. it could provide me. And it's done so much for me. Um, you know, when Shamika came to me with the idea, it was like, whatever we can do, let's, let's, let's do it. And, yeah. and it was born. Um, it started off pretty much with her, you know, she'll throw a couple coins in the pot, I'll throw a couple coins in the pot, and we'll see how it goes from then. But since we've gotten the word out, so many people want to be a part of it, it's continuing to grow. It's, it started as a peanut, and it's becoming a gallery, and we just want to see how far we can take it and how many people we can help. Great, so this is the first year you're doing it. I know, um, as of now, you offer a $1,000 scholarship, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. And again, that's that's the amount that we, we started with, but at this point, we don't really want to put a dollar amount on it yet because, mm -hmm. again, so many people are wanting to help. Um, we'll see where it ends up, and uh, every dime that, that's given to us for the scholarship is going to go directly to uh, to to the to the ath at student athlete we select. Great. Um, that's awesome. So, Shamika, you're a counselor mm -hmm. at um, Central High School. Tell us about that. What do you do to help the student athletes get to the next level in their sports careers? Sure, um, me along with my, a team of people at Central, um, as soon as a freshman come in mm -hmm. in the ninth grade, we tag them if they're potential Division I, Division II, and AIA. So I track that freshman from ninth grade to senior year oh, wow. to make sure they become eligible, make sure they take their ACT, SAT, SATs, because most student athletes, they think that they're great and that's all it takes, but it's yeah. so much more. I can't emphasize grades, 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 mm -hmm. grades. If you don't have the grades, you're not eligible. So, right. um, like I said last year, it was an honor to be a part of a Central East High School signing, Central High School signing 18 scholarships, and mm -hmm. most of my kids went Division ones, and they wow. went to big schools. I have a kid at Oklahoma, I have a kid at Arizona, Arizona State. So, you know, it's huge. And... I have a love for student athletes. I just I love what I do for student athletes. It's awesome and it's a it's a great thing. I really love what I do. I'm passionate about it. That's good. It sounds like you both really have a heart for helping people. And I know um, you are from the Fresno area. Right. So so what's your vision kind of with this whole athletic scholarship and and giving back? What's your heart behind it? Well, my whole vision is um, basically, as you said, I am from Fresno, California. I always want to give back to my community. It's important to me. You know, I started from the bottom, and, you know, now that I'm making my way to be successful, I just want to share that success and help other people, you know, other kids, other athletes, you know, make it to where they want to become. Um, as Larry said, it started out, you know, right now it's an athletic scholarship, but eventually I want to make it into a foundation and do backpack drives at the beginning of the year, do toy drives during the holidays. So right now it's small, but I envision it being large, like, right. you know, so that's my idea is just to keep building from it and just to continue to give back, not just to kids, just to, um, you know, families, mm -hmm. toy drives, Christmas drives, just continue to give back to the Great. community of Fresno. Great. So it sounds like you have a lot of plans for growth with this foundation. Absolutely. Great. So Larry, tell us a little bit, you know, what would you say to athletes out there that are looking to apply for this scholarship that, you know, maybe not may not have the motivation or the desire to go out and apply? What words of encouragement would you give to them? Well, I mean, if I was talking to one of the kids, just, just to give them the opportunity to, uh, to let them know that once you go to college, it opens a whole new door to a whole new, right. to a whole new world. Uh, it's so important to, to get out of the box that, mm -hmm. that, that we're in. Um, and once you go to college, it opens up so much. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are afraid that, you know, how can I afford college? There's so many different, not just our program, but there's so many different programs that aren't even taken advantage of to allow these kids to go to college. Um, and, and once they do to accept that opportunity, uh, platforms like this and, and counselors like Shamika at schools across mm -hmm. you know, California and where I'm from, New York, uh, once they give that opportunity to these kids and uh, get these kids out there, then it, it's, it's an amazing opportunity.
Great. All right. Well, Larry, Shamika, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks All right. Us. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be right back. the standard Fresno's premier restaurant and lounge. Start things off with a choice from the standard selection of wines and cocktails in the lounge or relaxing on the enclosed patio or in one of our intimate cabanas. Dine from the standards acclaimed menu of California cuisine where our chef always has something special. Enjoy your meal inside or on the covered patio. It's always a great evening at the standard restaurant and lounge in the Riverview Center at Fryant and Fort Washington. We'll see you tonight. Friday night's coming up, and if you don't have a date, don't despair. CVSR.tv has got you covered. Follow along on our show and get all the information about high school sports that you need to know. next evolution of football coaching. Our wireless system puts game footage in the hands of your coaches instantly. Correct technique and adjust schemes between plays. Don't tell your players what to fix, show them. Film from anywhere, get total video control, and automatically index your plays. With our high-powered system, there's no limit to how many coaches can connect. Get instant replay on the sidelines with Replay Locker. Well, Central Valley, that was our show for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Camille, who was your favorite guest on today? I'd have to say Larry Abney and Shabika Conway. Learning about their scholarship opportunities was awesome. Yeah, that's great what they do out there. I'm glad we got Mike Nolte on. Been wanting to get in for a while. And hey, Colin and Cassidy were fun. They were. It's always good when we can get great athletes on the show. That's right, guys. You can catch the show right here Sunday mornings, 9.30 a.m. every week on KAIL. Also, if you're an athlete or you know an athlete that we should be talking to, contact us. And take control of your recruiting. Go online and create a free profile. So until next week, we're, we're out, out Central, Central Valley. Valley.